Welcome, light workers, star seeds, and light warriors, to this week's weekly messages for June the 10th through the 17th. My name is Lisa. This is Heart of Inspiration. I have a brand spank and new deck here that we're going to be using. Um, I'll show the box to you guys in a moment. I like literally, I'm opening it up. It's the Tarot de la Nuit. So maybe the Tarot of the Night. I saw someone utilizing this. You guys are probably going to be like, she's butchering the packaging. Anyway, you guys, um, thanks for, for hanging out with me today. Please consider liking, subscribing, and or sharing. Okay, while we get this deck together for the weekly reading. That's Taurus. We're going to move right along to Gemini, please. Gemini. Sun, Moon, and Rising Gemini for June the 10th through the 17th, or 16th, excuse me, Gemini, 10th through the 16th, please, Gemini, 10th through the 16th, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Interesting on the bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Swords for you guys. The chariot for you all. The king of wands and the star. Now I'm going to put the, those all together as a story to kind of bolster up this story that we've got going on here with the page of pentacles. So here we are. The energy coming towards you is this page of pentacles and she is very much manifesting, right? Uh, we like to say the page of pentacles is a lot about um making money in a new way making you know all that kind of stuff so this is definitely that this is her being very alchemic okay this is definitely that so that um alchemy and new money new abundance new way of making your life beautiful is coming towards you and that's very good because the energy that you're having during this almost final week of Gemini season here is the judgment card. So it's time to move on to life destiny. It's time to pay the piper. It's time to clear the karma. It's time to stop putting everybody else, like saying everybody else, there's some issue with everyone else. Like everyone else is responsible for what I'm going through because they're not. You got to release it and you got to release the thought processes. You have to release the old ways. You have to release. I, this is, I'm going to sound like a freaking broken record this whole freaking time. But you got to release it. Like, unless you're willing to let it go, it's never going to change. So stop beating yourself up. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. This isn't going to fit everybody, but it's going to fit some darn buddy. And I'm just talking to whomever it's going to freaking fit. Okay. We've got to stop it. We got to stop having expectations that others are going to automatically do things the way that we want them, Gemini, and that your way is the only way, Gemini. Not everyone can change on a dime. And sometimes you might need to pull back a little bit and review. Now, for some of you, you're in your life purpose, you're finding new ways of doing it, but then you're also feeling judged with just this 10 of swords, right? So but the minute you feel judged by the Ten of Swords, then you immediately want to chariot change something and you get a bug up your butt with the King of Wands. And then right now we're back to, okay, here's a new wish. It's hard for people to follow it. And it's also hard for you to follow along the, the actual life path that you're supposed to be on when you keep moving around, you're moving the goalpost. The issue that I, the potential, um, what you have to overcome here, six of pentacles. So um, really kind of not allowing the foundation to take root so that you can actually find balance. All right. What's going to help you overcome that? I've got this seven of swords. Now, typically the seven of swords is very much like, oh, stealing, lying, cheating. Okay. So I'm going to, I know this feels tough, guys. This really feels tough. And yeah, this broad didn't stole something or she didn't hurt this other chick's feelings out in the background. You know, there's all kinds of stories going on because she's under moonlight. So we know that there's some stories happening here. Let me tell you something though. You might be kidding yourself. 
again, there's you're feeling very stabbed in the back, and maybe you are on some levels being stabbed in the back, but the minute you feel stabbed in the back, then you change, and then you get come up with some new thing, right? And then it's like, okay, this is my new wish, but you're not allowing yourself to gain a foundation, and you're not allowing yourself to endure what you need to endure in order to get to this place of life, right? Life purpose. I got to believe that these people, before they enter these pearly gates here, right, and into this promised land, that's what this says to me, that they probably went on a very long, a very arduous journey. I don't think they got here just by osmosis. And what Spirit's been trying to do and what Spirit's going to try to do this week is give you Page of Pentacles, a new way to look at an old problem, a new way to look at your current path so that you can overcome all this stuff and not be so concerned about what people are saying and not be so ready to, to cut bait and not be so ready to just change and say, well, oh, this is my new one and uh, this new my new passion. Um, uh, advice or outcome, don't be like freaking full of anxiety this week with this Nine of Swords. This is all going to feel very new. Like she is this girl going through a child. She is really going through. This, this is a real moment for her. Because the other card I have on the bottom of the deck here is definitely is the Ace of Cups. So there's going to be a brand new sense of love, fulfillment, compassion, compassion, passion that's there. And there's all these wonderful new things Spirit is trying to bring to you so that it can help you and assist you through your process of um, achieving your life purpose. But you got to slow your roll down long enough to learn how to navigate things um in the way that spirit is trying to um help you do so all right all right this gemini sun moon and rising